In this module, we're going to be looking at adapting R2, or different ways that you can either extract and customize the data yourself, or you can uh, alter or adjust certain settings within uh, analyses and graphs and different visualizations in order to make the analyses your own. Uh, so the first uh, example that I would like to show you is using a tool called the Data Grabber. Uh, so under Tools, you will find a tab called Data Grabber. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to extract data from R2 uh, and download it to your computer. So in this specific example, we are going to extract data from the neuroblastoma data set uh, consisting of 88 tumors. Uh, so we will select that data set. And here you will see that you have a number of options for what type of data you would like to extract. Uh, so for instance, you can extract uh, using different sample filters. So you can extract from a specified number of samples or specified uh, sub subsets of uh, samples or patients. Uh, as well as you can choose which type of uh, alterations to the data you would like to extract, whether you would like to extract raw data or logged transform data, uh, for instance, as well as which um, expression values you would like to, to extract. So here you can see that you can either extract um, with manual selections, so you could type in specific genes you would like to extract, such as uh, MCN is a common one we've used throughout our examples. Um, Otherwise, you can also extract uh, all reporters or Hugo once, which is each uh, specific uh, gene symbol that has been used. Um, so for this specific uh, example, I'm going to just extract uh, the gene MCN. Uh, so we've entered that and we click next. And here you see that you are presented with a data grabber text file. Uh, so I'm simply going to right click this file and save the link, uh, which you can save anywhere to your desktop or to any file that you'd like. So once you've downloaded the file, you can open it in, for instance, Excel. Uh, and this is how the file then uh, will appear for you. Uh, and what you can see here is that you have sample IDs uh, that you have extracted, as well as all of the different uh, sample annotations uh, that are available for this data set. And as I had entered into the R2 platform, I had asked for uh, the MCN probe uh, or MCN gene with uh, this specific probe and there you have the log2 values associated with MCN for each sample in the data set. So being able to download uh, or data grab this data uh, could be useful for you if you wish to be able to perform your own analyses on your own computer or, to, or download the data. Um, however, there are also other uses for this uh, and for example, here you are provided with each of the sample annotations or sample uh, IDs as well. And this can then be used in order to create your own tracks or your own sample annotations that you can then upload into R2, into this specific data set, or into other data sets uh, that you wish to adapt or make your own. One example of this would be if you wanted to create your own track using your own sample annotation uh, within R2. So if we switch back to R2, you can see here in the left tab uh, that under user options and under tracks, you have the option to build your own custom track. So if we click on that one, uh, here you can see that there are different options here for how you would like to build a track. So you can use the data that is currently present in R2, for instance, uh, defining uh, different numbers of groups uh, within your data set. However, there is also an option for uploading or pasting your own track as a text file or simply copy and pasting it into R2. So if we click on this as an example, uh, here we are given an example of a data table uh, that you could paste in uh, to R2 uh, that would then link a certain sample annotation to each given sample ID. So say for instance that we had our own sample annotations that we wanted to add to the samples that are in this 88 neuroblastoma data set. What we could do is we could simply uh, copy this template and use this template to annotate each one of our files in, for instance, uh, Microsoft Excel. Um, but in order to have the sample IDs for each of the samples in the data set, we can simply copy and paste our sample IDs from our data grabber that we uh, performed in the first step uh, that I showed you in this example. Uh, so using these IDs and the template that is given to us in R2, we can then create our own uh, data table that looks something like this. 
So here you can see that you can name the track. So we will name this track A, B, C, D. Uh, and here I have given each one of the samples or sample IDs an associated uh, letter next to it, which will be the grouping of the samples or the annotation that I wish to add to it. And you can see here that I have simply described uh, what this track will be, which I've also labeled A, B, C, D. Uh, and you can see that for each sample annotation, you can also associate it with a given color that it will be associated with in R2. So I can simply now copy all this data and then moving back to R2, we can paste this data uh, into the input box and click next. So what you can see is that each sample ID from within this data set is now associated to the letter that I defined uh, within the Excel file uh, that I created on my own computer. Uh, also associated with each uh, sample annotation or letter that I have defined, you can see at the bottom that the given color that I defined in my Excel sheet is also associated uh, with the specific uh, sample annotation. Uh, these colors can of course always be uh, changed afterwards uh, when you define uh, which color you would like within R2. Uh, you can also alter the track name here uh, and choose whether or not you would like to save it only as a temporary track or save it to your personal tracks associated with this data set. So for this example, we're only going to save it into the temporary uh, tracks and I will leave it named ABCD. And we are going to now build the set. So just to give an example of uh, how you could use this data, we can now go back to the main page and if I now wish to look for specific gene expression associated with my tracks, we can, for instance, view a gene such as MCN, click next and next. And here you can see that we now will have under group separations, uh, the 24 hour temporary track that I've just added ABCD. Uh, so for instance, we can select that one and view it as a box plot, and we will now see MIC N expression in the subgroups that I have just defined uh, using my own data. So this was one example of how you can adapt R2 using your own input data. Uh, there are other ways that you can upload your own data into R2 and make use of this. So we're going to return to the main page. And now we're going to look at an example of how you can perform Kaplan-Meier data on your own data. So here under the Kaplan-Meier tab, you can see that there is an option to select Kaplan-Meier by user provided data. So we're going to click on this tab. So again, here you can see the template or the example of how data should be entered into this uh, input box. And that is you need to require, you need to supply a sample name, uh, survival time data, so length up until each event, any events that happen, and this can be either written as a one or zero or a yes or no, as well as uh, an expression value or a numerical value uh, that you wish to use as your uh, guiding factor for uh, separation of these events or separation of groups. Um, so for instance, we can use uh, the data grabber information, uh, which, we, which we discussed in the previous example. And in this case, you do, you are supplied with uh, sample IDs, uh, overall survival event information, as well as overall survival time. So this information can then be entered into a new table, which you can then associate with your own values. Uh, so this could be gene expression, or it could be uh, other values that you may have performed by yourself in the lab. Uh, and of course, it doesn't need to be associated with this specific data set, but you could have your own uh, sample data here. But for this example, we are going to be using uh, the same data that we have used from the data grabber just to show how we can enter it back into R2. So once this data has all been entered, I'm now going to select it all and copy. And we can then simply come back to R2, paste the data in. We will use the Kaplan scan approach and we will now click next. And here what you can see is that the specific gene expression data that we have entered with each sample is now entered in and we are supplied with uh, the Kaplan-Meier. Uh, plot for our data. As you can see here, uh, this is now strictly coming from our custom data, so this is not linked to any specific data set in R2, uh, which means that we don't do not have any options for separation by uh, track, uh, for instance, because there are no sample annotations available for, for this data set that we've entered. 
However, you can choose to alter the method of cutoff uh, definition. So you can, for instance, choose median or average expression, uh, as well as you can set a specific cutoff if that is what you wish to do in your um, own data. So now we've looked at how you can extract data from R2, as well as how you can enter your own data to perform such analyses as uh, Kaplan-Meier or survival analyses, or creating your own sample annotations or tracks uh, within data that is already in R2. Um, another example of how you can create your own data is to make your own gene sets or define your own uh, genes of interest that you might want to make signature scores of. Uh, and this is a common feature that the uh, users in R2 often use. And again, you can find it from the main page. And this time we're going to go to categories and we're going to build a category. And a category uh, is then a group of genes in this case. So here we are presented with an input box where we are then able to name what our gene set or gene category that we are going to enter, what we would like it to be called. So it makes it easy to find it again as well as you can enter the gene symbols that you would like to be associated with your gene set. And this can either be written into the input box with one gene per line, or you can upload it as a text file. So we'll name this, exam we'll name this gene set uh, example gene set. And then I have simply put together a list of genes that I find interesting in Excel, so I can copy those and paste them right into the gene symbol uh, entry box. And we will save this one just as a temporary uh, gene set. However, you can also add it as a personal category and that way it'll always be saved as a gene set no matter when you um, access your R2 data. Uh, and you can of course uh, describe what this gene set is just for some more information. So we will again just say example uh, and click next. So here you see that it has recognized all 44 genes and the category or gene set has been added uh, to my user. So now if we return to the main page and we would like to see our gene set and how it is expressed in a specific uh, data set. So for this example, we'll use the data set consisting of 498 neuroblastoma tumors and we can simply select under type of analysis, uh, view gene set as a heat map and click next. And now under our gene selection, we can find that under our 24 hour gene categories, uh, which is where we put it as a temporary gene category uh, and click next, you will find that you can find our example gene set there, which we can simply select and click next. And now we are presented with our specific gene set and its expression uh, in, in the specific data set of interest. And as we have previously discussed in the uh, creating gene signatures and uh, gene signature scores, here you do have the Z score uh, for all your genes per sample uh, along the bottom of this heat map, which you could then also store in R2 as a signature score. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to store this uh, and we will call this example gene set score and again leaving it within the temporary uh, a temporary track and we're going to build this set now. So now we have built our own gene category. We have viewed our gene set within a data set uh, and now we have built a signature score based on that gene set that we've entered into the data and now for instance we can see how our signature score is associated with uh, overall survival data. So we can now go to Kaplan-Meier by track, which you, we have just built. We're going to scan the track again. And the track that we are going to select is now listed under our temporary 24 hour uh, gene set score. We, we will select it and look at overall survival. And here you can see that we can uh, determine how well our signature score uh, is associated with survival in this data set.